for the nursery, I really wanted to create a dollhouse, but we also needed a bookcase. So I thought it'd be fun to try and make a dollhouse bookcase. So that's exactly what we did. This was so easy to do and we used mainly recycled materials. So let's get started. So one of the two things that I had to buy for this project was the bookcase. So you can get these at Target, they have them on Amazon, they have the Ikea one. I got the one from Target which was $33. It is so inexpensive. I believe they have the same one on Amazon for $28. I will link it below. It is so easy to put together and just very simple. You can of course build one but I don't think it would even pay to build one because like I said it's so inexpensive. The first thing I did was flipped it over and added some felt feet onto the bottom that way I didn't scratch the work surface. For this project I just tried to use all recycled materials and things I had at home to make this really inexpensive. The playmat we had for baby boy worked out perfectly because I was able to use all of this cardboard for a lot of different things. So the first thing I used it for was the backing of the shelf. And some of the shelves might come with backing. This one, it was so weird, it came with like just two panels for the backing, um, but not for the other two, but anyway. Um, I had this leftover piece of wallpaper and instead of peeling it and sticking it, I decided to just use Super 77 glue. That way the pattern from the cardboard didn't show through, but I think actually the wallpaper would have been thick enough, but I was just being extra cautious. The bookcase also came with these little like nails that you can use to tap this in, except I lost the pack of nails, so I'm just using some of these tacks that I have to get it all in. And so what I love about this so much is that this is the box that the piece came in and I'm just cutting off the sides and we're gonna use this as the roof. My original plan was to use wood, but when I saw this piece, I was like, wait a minute, this looks exactly like the shape I'm about to make out of wood. Let's just see if the cardboard would work. And it worked out so perfectly. And so I feel like this makes it so easy if you guys are doing this at home, if you wanna do this with your kids, it is just the simplest project. So next I drew a big triangle on the front because I wanted to make a dormer. So again, I just took some pieces of leftover cardboard and just made the shape of the dormer. Here I'm just cutting a line down, but not all the way through. That way it can bend um, and the pieces can kind of like go into each other. You guys will be able to see a better visual in a minute. So here is what that looks like. And for now I'm just going to tape it together. Um, I had not done a project like this before and I was kind of just making everything up as I went so I was just trying to like tape things together and just figure it out and it was actually really fun to do. I feel like now looking back at this I probably could make it quicker but like I said I had no idea what I wanted to do. So these are actually the back pieces that I was talking about that the bookshelf came with. It came with two of those and I don't know why they're so silly because they have like a crease in it and I just think they would look really bad in the back of the bookshelf. <laughs> but I decided to use that for the front of the window. So I'm just measuring out the center and I made a little template of the size window I wanted and I'm just tracing that out and then I get to cut that out. Next, I just took the template, traced it on the box, and cut this out. That way the dormer can fit right in. As you can see, when you look through, you can see the back of the box. So I actually had the perfect amount of wallpaper left over. And this one I peeled off and stuck on, which now I'm realizing that I totally could have done this with the other piece because it's not see-through at all. But it is just a really cute little touch. That way when you look through the window, you just see the same blue wallpaper. You could definitely get creative with it and put like a little scene of some sort inside. 
Um, I think it would just be really cute, but it's such a fun project. There's so many different things you could do with it. So what I just did was tapped in these tacks. That way the top is secured and then I removed all of the duct tape. And now we are going to hot glue this dormer together. That way it's extra sturdy and stays together. Besides the bookshelf itself, the only other thing I bought for this project were these sticks on Amazon. They came in a pack of $500 for $19, so I will link those below. I'm just taking some of these snips and just snipping them to size, and basically you're just going to keep doing this until you have enough to go all the way across. There's so much you could do with this. You can buy dollhouse shingles. They do get a little pricey, so that's why I didn't do it. Um, you could also make shingles out of cardboard. You could get the sticks like I did. There are so many different ways to get creative with this. Now when it's coming to the dormer, I was trying to figure out how should I cut this. So I just took a piece of duct tape, stuck a bunch of the sticks together, and then from the inside traced out the triangle. And now I have this template. And again, this was just so easy to take each one off. And then I just cut where the black lines were and it just made it really simple and a lot easier than trying to figure out the exact angles of every one of these pieces. Now I'm working on the window for the dormer. So I actually ended up recutting the white piece because the other one I had wasn't perfect. So here again, I'm just using this duct tape for everything, but I just kind of use it to make everything stick together. Then I glued it and this was really fun to do. You can get so creative um, with making different things. I wanted to add some shutters on just to add a little bit of extra charm. The theme of the nursery is kind of like a Beatrix Potter um, feel so I just felt like this just helped to add a little extra character so I'm just taking a box cutter and cutting out the inside of the windows that way they look a little bit more realistic so I took that piece and I'm gluing it on to the cardboard triangle that we made earlier So from the same cardboard that we used for the back of the shelf, it also had this clear, um, I don't know why I'm blanking on what it's called, so I'm just going to call it paper for now, <laughs> but I decided to take that and to make a window, you could probably just use like um, clear wrap or like anything that you could find, um, but I'm just now painting the background of that white and I'm also painting the window itself white and then I decided to paint the shutters the same color as his room um, also if you guys can name that movie that I'm watching let me know comment it down below it's my favorite movie of all times and today we had a big snowstorm Oh my goodness, this is looking so cute. I'm so excited about it. So now I'm just taking that piece and sticking that inside. I decided just to go simple and just paint the sides of this white. Um, I was originally going to take the sticks and go do like some sort of design, but I just decided it'd be easier to paint it. To clean things up a little bit, I'm just taking some sticks and cutting those and placing those on. I also took one of the sticks and put it at the bottom of the window because I felt like it just helped to make the bottom just look so much more finished and I love how it turned out. You can really see these little details help to add so much character. So now I just have 
this piece of cardboard that I made into a square and I'm just going to cut a slit in the top of it and this will be our chimney. I took a couple more pieces of cardboard and sized them to fit the sides of the bookshelf. That way the roof was closed in and I was going to make some gables for each of the sides because we're going to be adding lights into the roof that way it shines through the windows. So I thought it'd be really cute to shine through the side windows as well. But I just did not have energy and I was trying to figure it out and trying to make it work but I just couldn't figure it out to make circle windows so maybe eventually I will add those on but for now we're just leaving it plain and I'm just taking some more of the wood to add some trim pieces. On the back of the box I'm just cutting out a rectangle and this is where we're going to be installing the lights. The sides of the roof I just decided to paint and you can kind of see that you can almost see some of the brown through it and I think to at least to me it looks like stucco it kind of reminds me of like an old English cottage which was the look I was going for so I actually really liked how that turned out and then for the top again I just took more sticks and ran those across horizontally so now for the chimney I'm taking baking soda and some paint and I saw this hack on TikTok and basically when you mix the two together it makes it look um, just kind of like thick and almost like a stucco. I'm adding a little bit of brown in here also just to warm it up. And so I applied this um, in a heavy coat onto the chimney and it really did make it look like stucco and I love the finish of it. We had some old pillows in the basement and so I took some of the stuffing out and then just stuffed that into the chimney to make it look like smoke. I had a bunch of these fairy lights from an old project so I just stuffed those into the top and then when you turn them on it looks so so cute. I love how it looks. Um, but here is what it looks like all completed and now it's time to add in all of his sweet little books and decorate it. Depending on when I post this video, tomorrow is my due date, which is March 16th, and he seems pretty cozy in here still, so we'll have to see if he wants to come out in time or if we still have a little bit longer with him. Um, I'm so excited to meet him, and I just can't believe it. We do have the nursery video um, renovation, but that will probably go up once he finally arrives because his name is on a bunch of stuff, so I kind of want to keep it a secret until he's actually here. So if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe. That way you can see that. I do have a ton of nursery videos, though, that we've already done making over things, so be sure to check those out. Ta-da! Here is the bookshelf completed. I absolutely love how it looks. I feel like bookshelves can sometimes just be so boring, so turning it into a dollhouse and having it be a statement piece in the nursery is just so cute and it just fits with his nursery theme so well. I love how it looks and I feel like it's a piece that will hold on to forever.